Welcome everyone to Dead Dreams! Yes, indeed, from the pixelated face of whatever that is, Demon Girl. I am playing a 2D game, and undeniably, you should talk me all you want. Anything can be horrific. It's all about the experience that gives you wisdom. December 1526. I wonder which era this is. Am I one of these assholes? Oh yeah, I am. Ah! Let me go! Oh! Okay. Nothing. I suppose she's simply worried about you. Thomas, your mother wants to wants you to visit me every Wednesday. That's all she's asking for. Alright, I believe that's better than her endless phone calls. Ugh, mothers! Respect you moms and dads, uh, kids. And adults. Parents! Important. Anyway, Miss White, thank you. You're welcome. I mean, I guess I'll try. Okay. Uh, please sign here and here. Got it. And here. What's that? The permission for recording our sessions and some selected memories. It's kind of fucking weird. Selected memories. During our meetings, I might need to see the key moments from your past. But I don't have a past. I'm pastless. And why is that? So I could, uh, better understand the nature of our problem. You want me to voluntarily give you access to my brain. It's a fairly new practice, but it already has shown itself to be very efficient. You can deny the access, but then it would take me a lot more time to identify the issue. How about just leaving it alone? Not fucking with it, huh? White people? <laughs> this can actually work. Okay. Okay, fine. You have my permission. I, I wouldn't accept like that. But then let's start. So tell me about school. Your old friends. Well, there was Jamie. There was Cersei. And there was Tyrion. Okay. Memory 001. August 319. Man, I like school. I think I'm gonna get bullied. Hi! Can I ask you on a date? No. Man. Hi, can we be friends? No. Oh. oh, I gotta go this way. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm the class clown! I can't see shit. Oh, man. I'm gonna fit right in. I feel like a real trooper. I feel like a real boy. Hey. Hey. Oh, talk to a girl on the first day of school. Too ambitious. Oh, okay. Come on, just say hi. You won't survive in high school without having any friends. Okay. Hello. Hi, what's up? Um, what are you playing? I don't think you heard about it. What makes you think that, asshole? It looks like... Firefall 3! Mm -hmm. My name is Thomas. Liam. I had a friend called Liam. So you're new, right? Kind of. And you're familiar with Firefall series? Question mark. It's a classic! I even made a mod for the second one. I'm sure you're... F <laughs> I'm sure you'll fit in our group, nerd. What group? What are you doing after school? Me? Nothing. Why? Let's go. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Should I talk to the girl? That's what you were asking for. What's happening? Sorry, my friend. My... Sorry, my friend. My name is Aaron. Thomas. Nice to meet you, Thomas. He knows about the Firefly series and can code. Impressive. Thanks! So, what's this all about? Oh, right.
right. See, we're opening the first game dev club in our school, and we want you to join us. Wow, really fucking nerds. <laughs> if that's okay with you, sure, I'm in. Really? Perfect! How many people have joined your club? You're the first. Audrey! Wait, Audrey? I mean, she didn't say yes, but I'm working on it. Yep, of course you are. Of course you are. That's how I became a member of their club, along with Liam, Aaron, and Audrey. Free time from school, we were spending in front of game consoles or out in the city. Sex in the city. Gradually, I got to know all of them. Even though Liam pretended that he doesn't give a damn, there was one thing he really cared about. Music. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Aaron was the heart of our club, the one who was uniting our diverse group. What a nice lad. Audrey had a real talent for drawing, but because of her anxieties, she only shared her work with Aaron. Damn. Express yourself truly, people. And I, in gratitude for the such amazing friends, was trying to support all their interests. What a good bunch of pals! December 21, 2026. Damn, we're not that far away from that time. Ooh, scary! Miss White. And after that... Are you sure she didn't say anything to you? No. I think there's too much for the first... I think... Yeah, I think that's too much for the first session. It's okay, if you're not ready to discuss it. Record session 3, 519, October. That day we spent on the beach. Let's go on the beach. Let's go get a wave. We're going to check out the caves. Are you in? I'll pass. Thomas? Maybe later. As you wish. I think this is the part where I talk to a girl. The one thing I never did in real life. I mean, I'm a hustler. I saw you. On your first day at school. Oh yeah, I was just looking for a seat. Mine was free. Ooh. Ooh. It's getting hot in here, is it just me? Was it? Okay, maybe. I just got scared. I'm not very good at speaking with girls. And people in general. I'm not good at one of those things. Can you guess which one keeps my army? That's not true. You know, before I had no friends except Aaron. How about Sophie? No, I mean real friends. Someone who truly understands you and will never harm you. Is that why you only show your drawings to Aaron? Maybe, although it's a little bit different. Here, take this. again. Oh wait. I'm gonna read the news. Police officials shared new information about the case, the second cyber murder incident in the last month. Oh. 
VR headset. Some alcohol. No, microwave, fridge, maybe some books. Or maybe not. Oh, yes, books. The side effects include hallucination, nightmares, etc. The pill I just took? It's dark outside. You find the spyglass? Use it. Video games. <laughs> Every gamer's dream. Wait, really? We're not gonna check them more. Alright. Let's go to bed. Player. Hi, Thomas. Who's this? I have something for you. Wink. Mm, it's Audrey. Connected to VR? VR means virtual reality. For those of you who don't know. What does it all mean? You have two hours to save her. Otherwise, I'll kill her. <laughs> How does he know about Audrey? Is that some kind of prank? What do you want, money? Follow my instructions. How do I know if it's true? Call her. You know the number.
fuck with it. <laughs> Don't get your head too much into the game. And now listen. You must turn on your VR, VR device and click on this link. And don't you dare try to mess with me. I'm watching you. Good luck. Fuck. Am I still dreaming? No, this is too real. If he's not lying, I have to do something. What, did I turn on the fucking VR set? Wait, let's go inside the bathroom. I don't need to use the bathroom anymore. I shit my pants. Okay. VR. Understanding. Have you seen the news about that maniac who killed a man plugged into a VR system? Okay, that's a good point, but... But what? God, I wish that was all just a dream. How many people did he kill already? Five or six? And no survivors! Just breathe, okay? Okay, sorry, I'm alright. Can I? Just give me some time, okay? Sure. So, what should we do? Find the exit. It's dark. Wait, aren't you coming? Sorry, I hurt my leg. What happened? No idea. Don't be scared. I'm not scared, it's just maybe we should stay and wait for help. That's how I knew your name. Miss R, she was worried about you, asked me to find your number. Really? Okay, I'm going inside. Very well, you know where to find me. Alright, see you later.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. What the fuck is this? jars inside of them you find the right eye Simply expressions of some internal desires or fears, the shadows of something real. The second is a belief of the soul leaving the physical body. Well, if you believe that one, you watch Insidious. If you believe the other one, it's just simple. For example, many indigenous tribes assume that dreams are a way of meeting with their ancestors. I know. <laughs> In the Middle Ages, they were seen as the work of the devil. Of course they were. Oh 
shit! Wait, what? Is that our old favorite vinyl record? Mannequins. <laughs> oh wait, shit. I've been in here. There you are. It's supposed to act like that. The left call opens up. You found left eye. The Slender Man effect! December 21st, 2026. 20, Are you sure she didn't say anything to you? It's like, nope. I think that's too much for the first session. It's okay if you're not ready to discuss it. I'll go for that, because I don't know. And since then, you never met back up. Nope. But would you? Would you like to meet with them? To talk to them in person? Christmas is in four days, at least you could visit her, she would be happy to see you. Yeah, dick. I don't fit in her perfect family. Who's dick? Who's dick? Let's get watch his anime. <laughs> Not that I don't, but I watch the good kind. Hentai. Flip the cast. The cassette. It's called a cassette! Why was it called it a casket? Such a retard. It was the day of the fireworks festival in our town. While Audrey and Aaron were, ch were checking out the closest food stalls, I was joined by Liam who was looking for a place with a good view. Are you not going with them? I didn't want to leave you all alone. So, how are you? Why are you asking? I don't know, just you're acting strangely lately, no sarcastic remarks or complaints about the weather. Aha! Did they notice that too? You won't tell me what happened. Nothing new, just some problem with my parents. You haven't brought the signatures yet, have you? The permission slip for the winter holidays, holidays trip. Nope. Next Monday is the last day. I know. My grades in economics are below average. Father wants me to spend all the holidays studying. The guys are going to be upset. I don't know how to tell him. I'm really sorry, knowing for how long Aaron was looking forward to it. See you tomorrow at 11 a.m. at my place. Why is that? I'll help you with your grades. Since we don't have much time left, we're going to study every day. Thank you, but I won't be able to increase my grades just in one week. You don't have to. Do you know your father's signature? Are you serious? Think about this. We'll forge his signature and continue studying right until the holidays. After that, you'll tell him that we still have some time to sign the permission slip. What if he finds out or won't be satisfied? 
satisfied with my grades anyway. I don't know. Try to convince him that this trip is a good motivation for you. You're right. I still have a chance. Thank you, Thomas. My brain's getting fuzzy! Slender! Fuck off! Fucking therapist. go that way because But now covered in blood? It seems almost real. A terrible smell comes from the light holes. No? No, wait. He's holding something. It's a silver key. How did I get it? Um, I guess I'll just go. Silver key. What did I need it for again? Oh, right. I thought that, that scared me. Ah, oh, wait. It's a bronze key. Fuck. Again, fuck off. So I guess I got this. for now because I think I have one a little bit too far but undeniably I love you guys till the end you guys are awesome if you watch this the whole way through I love
Chicken like the hound, you can eat every fucking chicken in the room. KFC style. And of course, remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Because I really enjoyed this game, to be honest, most than other games actually. But all games are treated equally, all games are awesome. Then again, there are just some that hit the spot that just give you the little fuck yeah. That sounded like it was like a sex joke. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm weird. I'm strange. Who isn't? Well, I'm a stranger, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing because I like it!